the healing summit nine days ago uh, is, is uh, well, it's just been incredible to see what the Lord has done in 726 churches, but also other nations of the world and, and in hundreds of thousands of people now. And we can say that the testimonies are just that we understand or have heard are in the thousands. And uh, we haven't heard near the tip of the iceberg of what God has done because he was in homes, he was in hospices. I think I've heard four stories of hospices so far that they left. And um, uh, these are things that only God can do incurable diseases. And uh, again, I thank the host churches for uh, hosting it, bringing the sick in their region and laying hands on them and family and friends that did it in your living rooms. Um, prayer groups that invited a, a terminally ill person to come and watch it with them and they gathered around praying. It's amazing when you give God a chance what he'll do. You give Holy Spirit space, he'll fill it. And he is doing that. And um, we're just delighted in, in what has been happening. And please continue to send um, the short testimonies that we can brag on Jesus about. I normally do that on Wednesday night, but I want to share a couple today and then one in the house. I watched Friday. This is nine years, nine weeks. Science feels like nine years ago, nine days ago. I watched Friday, the pain on my right side has gone. My husband's headache stopped. He was a disabled veteran who got blown up and had headaches continually. We watched your church at our church and we prayed and you talked about headaches. Jesus has healed my husband, wow. Our healing class hosted the healing summit at our breakthrough church. Such a special night it was with testimonies of people being touched in their bodies. But the amazing thing that happened at our church was the anointing that came during the passing of the mantles. As you all started telling the stories about the dreams or the dream and praying uh, over the dream and the mantle, people here begin to weep and many begin to fall on the floor, overwhelmed by the power of God and the seriousness of of the moment. This is my praise report. I watched it live stream that evening and I received the word given for women that insists on their ovaries that would begin to flush out. My case is similar. I have suffered for almost two decades with massive inoperable fibroids starting that week and ever since. I have seen the most miraculous change in my body. I was healed. Thank you so much. I watched you on YouTube last Friday and prayed along with you. And I have suffered with excruciating neuropathy pain in both my legs for several years. The pain attacks would come randomly even if I was out and about in public. Praise God, after prayer and believing with you and your team, I am pain free. Uh, they, they, they just go on and on. I, I'll tell more Wednesday night, but I want to get to one. Uh, I'm all out maybe a month or so ago, or maybe longer. We can begin to pray for a desperate situation here among our church body but we want to brag on Jesus today. So I'll come down there and uh, we want to hear a live one. Amen. Yeah. Come on, Angela. We have been praying every day for you. And um, I, me and Elder Harding went back and prayed for you the other day and then the summit. Go ahead and testify. Get it right in your mouth so that everybody can hear it in the world. <laughs> um, I was diagnosed with stage two melanoma about two and a half years ago, and then this past January it became stage four. And every month since then, it's been more bad news, more tumors. You know, they've grown, they've 
spread. And then I was told that I had about a 50% chance of making it to Christmas. And so it looked pretty hopeless. And then, you know, I was, I was kind of mad at God for a little while and I felt really bad about that. And I'm just so thankful that he continued to love me when I was unlovable. And then I came to the healing summit and I had my brain MRI this past week and 10 of my 12 tumors have disappeared. And the other two, the other two are so small that they, uh, they feel that they'll be gone soon too. So I'm, I'm really thankful. And I'm so thankful that you two cared enough for me to make sure that I could get to the summit. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The two that are there just are about gone, right? Yep. Just stretch your hands. Lord, we just declare these two remaining of the 12 that have shrunken and almost gone accelerates this week completely. We thank you for the good report. We thank you, Lord, that with you, there was more than a 50% chance of making it to Christmas. There are Christmases in the future for her and her family because of you and because of your goodness. We celebrate you today, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you for sharing that. That was awesome. Bless you. Bless you. Wow. We can tell, and I have read many testimonies just like that one. And uh, all I can do usually is just start reading them and then I start crying. And I'm not one of those that cry as much at all. You know that after 40 years, some of you anyway. But it's like, there's such compassion for, for these people. You know, there were people that didn't even know how to pray for the sick, but they invited a sick friend to their house. And I had to say, I had to explain, lay your hands on their shoulder or kneel around them. We'll pray. And you come into agreement with that and just pray for your friend. People did this by the thousands. And uh, what did God do? He honored his word. He honored his promise. He honored his covenant. Just amazing. What a, te what a testimony. Um, keep them coming. We'll keep bragging on Jesus. And we're going to keep strategizing into the future. There's amazing things that God is doing in our times. We need to discern them like the sons of Issachar and get right in the middle of it. We're in a miraculous moment, a tipping point moment. We've said it for years, but it's coming into a narrow focus of the Lord now. He's penetrating our times with power. And we give him all the glory, amen? It isn't about us, it's about him. It wasn't our covenant, it was his. It wasn't our stripes, it was his. I told him the day of the summit, as I was praying out at the, beside the lake, I don't know Jesus, I don't know if I could have taken two of those stripes and made it. Thank you that you went all the way and took it all. You bore our sickness, our diseases. The chastisement of our peace is on you. You did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen.